Hello again, everybody. I have a very important message that came to me in a dream two different times. The first time I had this dream was about seven or eight years ago. I was living in Pennsylvania at that time. In this dream, I had, at that time, I had found out somehow that Florida was sinking. When I found out about that, I had jumped in my car and drove south towards Florida because I was going to get my brother, sister, and mom to safety. At that time, they were still living here in Florida. Anyway, as I was driving towards Florida, I was stopped by some authorities at the North Carolina and South Carolina border. They asked me where I was heading and I told them that I was going to Florida. Before I could even finish my sentence, they interrupted me and said, I'm sorry ma'am, but traffic isn't allowed to Florida because it's flooding. I told the authorities that my brother, sister, and mom were there and I needed to get them to safety. I was told again, ma'am, I'm sorry, but we cannot let anyone through. It's too dangerous. Then I asked, well, do you know where my family might be heading to? One of the authorities looked at me and says, I'm really not sure, but you might want to try one of the Midwestern states because that's where the survivors are being taken. So I drove to one of the Midwestern states and waited. That was when I woke up from that dream. After I had that dream, I figured, eh, it might be a dream telling me to go back down to Florida to be with, with them. So about six months to a year after that, I had moved down to Florida. I met my husband after I moved back down here and married him a, the, a year later. Now this is where the next dream comes into play. Last month, which is April, I had an almost identical dream about Florida sinking. In this dream, my husband and I bought a house here in Florida, which was a unique house. One of the sides of this house was built partially into the ground. Anyway, in my dream, I was walking past one of the rooms on the side that was partially underground when I stopped and looked at the window. I saw water rising at a somewhat steady pace. I yelled through the house and told my husband that we had to leave because of the rising water. My husband, dog, and I started running to dry land and I saw all kinds of people just walking around and having fun like nothing was going on. That was peculiar to me in my dream. I was like, wow, how can nobody not know what's going on? Uh, but anyway, I started talking to one person who knew what was going on, and I asked that person, how are we all going to get out of here? That person says that there was a vehicle taking people to the airport. Then I asked that person, what about my dog? I don't think they will let me take my dog on the plane. I mean, look at how big she is, because I have a pretty good sized dog. She's a red bone coonhound uh, boxer mix. So <laughs> yeah, she's pretty big. Anyway, um, the, the person in my dream told me, I'm sure they will make an exception due to the circumstances. I then said, I certainly hope so. By the way, when is the next vehicle coming to take us to the airport? The person in my dream said, one just left but there will be another one pretty soon. I said, okay. And my dog, husband, and I waited. I then looked down the road and saw the water coming our way. I told my husband that we needed to get to dry land quick. So we started running. When we stopped, I told my husband, now that vehicle won't find us. My husband says, they might because they won't drive, th drive in the water. That's when I looked down at my feet in my dream and the water was about an inch or two away from my feet. Right after I saw that, I woke up. And after I woke up, I noticed the time and it was 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, 
so anyway, I had called my husband, and he was still at work at that time. And I told him, I says, there's no way that this is an accident that I've had two dreams about Florida sinking. Um, and I also told him, I says, uh, I think God is trying to tell me something, and I think that something that he's trying to tell me is that Florida is going to be sinking. Um, but anyway, after we had that conversation, I stayed awake for about an hour because I was very shook. I mean, I was so shook. I was shaking. I was really, really shaking. But anyway, the next, the next day after my husband left for work, I started doing research about Florida sinking and I came upon this map that you're looking at right here. Um, and let me tell you, when I first saw this, I was like, um, yeah, this is exactly how it happened in my first dream. This is what I saw in my first dream. So, um, yeah, anyway, then the next couple, then, then a couple of days later, I told one of my sister-in-laws about my dream and it was pretty much like talking to a brick wall with her. I mean, it was, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway, I finally got around to telling my brother about my dream, and all he could say was, okay, but, yeah, anyway, see, I'm telling you about this because it is very urgent, very urgent, there are many other people here on YouTube having similar dreams, I mean, people are having dreams about California sinking, uh, I mean, it's just astronomical about the things that people are dreaming here on YouTube. But God is giving us these messages for a reason. My, my spirit knows that the time is very short. But yet and still, my flesh, my mind, is still trying to grasp all of this. Because I never thought that it would happen in my lifetime. <laughs> So, please, my friends, please, take heed at these messages. It's very, very urgent. God means what he says in the Bible. If you haven't found God and Jesus yet, then please try getting to know them. Please. Time is seriously very short. I mean... Look at all of these strange things that are happening, like the earthquakes, the sinkholes, especially the Louisiana sinkhole, which is sitting right on top of the New Madrid Fault. And then you have these volcanoes that are, like, going off all the time. <sighs> they are happening more frequently and are having greater force. If you live along the coastal areas... I really, 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 really do advise you to move, especially to higher grounds. These dreams that I've had of Florida sinking are the main reasons why my husband and I are making plans to move out of Florida. So with that said, I will leave you with these thoughts. Thank you for watching, and may, and may God bless and keep you. Bye.